Hello, welcome back. This time I'd like to talk about create magnet target or center marker. As you can see, the little indicator at the end of the command name suggests that this command is a part of the smart magnet rig workflow. If you happen to be unfamiliar with the smart magnet rigs, you have to go to our website and read all about them. Now, this is a dual function command and here I've typed the shortcuts associated with the command. There are shift plus tilde key and alt plus tilde key. I've also put a little picture here just to make sure what key we're talking about. This is the key to the left of one and below escape. Now the command creates two types of invisible, which actually means fully transparent EDAPT objects, which are the basis of every single smart magnet rig. These are the center marker and the magnet target. Now, I'll very briefly demonstrate how these are created and what they mean and how the command behaves. If we open a symbol and press Alt plus tilde, we'll see this little diamond shaped blue object appear on stage. Also, a layer was created above everything. The layer is colored blue. It's called center marker. And if we switch the outline mode off, the object will disappear. Now, this center marker is always placed at the registration point of the symbol automatically. Its function is to allow us to know where the registration of a symbol is from the outside of this symbol. So if I get out of this hand symbol and this time into the lower arm symbol, I can see where the registration of the hand actually is. Now here I'll create a magnet target, which is the other type of invisible object by pressing shift plus tilde. You can see this is a red circle with a cross in the center. A guided layer was created automatically and the red circle was placed on the guided layer. The layer is called magnet targets. This magnet target has to be placed or well, the center of this magnet target has to match the location of the center marker in the child symbol. So if I leave it just here and press tilde without any modifiers, it will snap so that the centers of these two objects coincide. If I go out now, because we already have a center marker, and the magnet target, I can move this symbol away and by pressing tilde, I will use the smart magnet joints and the hand will snap back to its wrist. That means the registration point of the hand is snapping to the magnet target that we placed inside the lower arm. Same thing will happen to this because we have a magnet target in the elbow, as we can see here. If I press tilde, the lower arm will snap to the upper arm. Now, one more thing that we can do with these invisible objects. If we have multiple targets, we can add little identifiers. If I double click this, we can see that this timeline is many frames long. If I go to frame two and create a blank key, I can type something here. I'll type, I'll type N. 
just to indicate that this is a neck. And what I'll do on the outside, I'll just go to frame number two. And by doing so, I can indicate that this is my neck magnet target. Well, these are obviously positioned at the arms. Sometimes you can get quite congested rigs where a tail is very close to the back leg and so on and this can come in quite handy. One final thing, there are some settings in the EDAP control panel in regards to this command. We can see options how the layers that contain these invisible objects are created initially, whether they will be guided or visible. Usually the ideal situation would be you need to see the center markers from the outside, so the center marker is supposed to be a visible layer, while the magnet targets are better to be invisible. I think that's all. Thanks for watching.